In this video, we're going to begin uh, pairing to a Windows 10 device. So to start, we're going to go down to our Start menu and click on the Bluetooth and Device Settings. Once in here, we're going to click the Add button at the top that says Add Bluetooth or Other Device. Then we, of course, want to choose a Bluetooth device. At this point, a stereo should be on. You do not have to put it in a pairable mode, and it should recognize it. Make sure it recognizes the entire serial number, otherwise it may not recognize the service. Then simply click on it, and it should connect. In my computer, it's just going to connect, and it'll show connected to the device. On some computers, you may have to type in four zeros as the pair code. Once you've done this, we just want to go over to more options and we're going to look at our COM port settings. We want to make sure that we identify the outgoing serial port profile that we're going to use. In my case, it's COM3. So now we can go right into our application. I chose to use just straight ArcMap and we're going to set it to COM3 at a baud rate of 9600 for the X1. This is important to recognize your device type because the X3 would be a baud rate of 192. But in this case, it is an X1, so we're going to use 9600, 8, none, and 1 as our protocols, and then just hit OK. Now, it's as simple as hitting the play button here. It will connect to our GPS, and you'll see it now is streaming GPS data across once per second and putting an icon right on our map. If we want a little more information here, we can go up here to position, and it'll give me some information. It gives me the lat lawn, gives me the... Uh, UTC and time and the number of satellites that it's looking at and probably most importantly to us it says that's a differential GPS fix so that's always important um, so that shows you how to connect inside ArcMap if you're in doubt whether it's actually streaming data I recommend using a program such as TerraTerm there's a lot of them out there they're all free and what they are is they're gonna show you any ASCII data coming across on that port so again, we're going to go to the COM3 serial port, and I'm going to go to my serial port options and just tell it to connect at 9600, and I can see the actual NMEA data that the Asteri is streaming across. You notice that mine has GP. If yours has a GN and your application is not recognizing it, it may be that your application only recognizes older GPS NMEA strings, and you may have to consult us to further configure. Thank you very much.